Hello, heroes. It's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. And there's Whitney Zeno right there. Hey. And then there's Justice Zeno right there. And, we, and Titus is sleeping. Uh, thanks for watching 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. We'll feed your mind, your body, and your future. All right. So, uh, once again, of course, thank you so much for all the amazing feedback from Season 2, Episode 1 of the We Are Heroes show. Thank you so much. I've gotten several messages on Facebook on certain things you guys want to see. So tell me tell me your questions. Do you want the recipes? Do you want certain workout tips? Do you want more mindset stuff? Or if you have a question, like someone uh, did a question, what's it mean? How do you go from, from believing to knowing? You know what I mean? Like So meaning that like, how can you get 100% confidence to know what to do and actually, actually go ahead and do it? So all those things. So all your feedback is so important to us. Uh, SoundCloud's boosting again. So make sure you check us out on SoundCloud. That goes to Stitcher and that goes for um, iTunes for Dr. Zeno, Dr. Zeno fan page on Facebook, YouTube, Dr. Zeno, and Instagram, Dr. Zeno. A lot of good stuff there. We got some cool pictures and quotes to kind of inspire you and uh, keep you going through the day. Who's that? Was that Titus? Oh, that's you, babe. All right. So, all right. So today, what's up, Mick? Um, so today, what we're going to go over is, well, well, we'll show you a guest. Let's show the guest now. You got him? Oh, guest. We got a guest for you guys. Here. Let's see, because uh, Mick's on there now, so I want to show Mick. Come on, bring him over. No, come around here. So Mick, uh, Winnie, Winnie solidified our move by... This guy, this is Mr. Prowler Stark. He's a French bulldog. He's what, nine weeks old? We picked him up. So there you go. Winnie did everything she can to solidify that she doesn't have to go back to Houston. All right. Bye, Prowler. <laughs> all right. So, all right, Justice. All right. So they'll steal the show. All right. So, so today I'm going to talk about rats in the house. Okay. Rats in the house. So what's that mean by that? Now, if I was... Would you, for instance, if someone came to your door and they rang the doorbell and they, and they come in your house with a bag and they empty the bag and it's a bunch of rats and they left, like, would you invite them in your house knowing that? The answer is, of course not. You know, if someone came in your house and dropped a bunch of crap, literally like fecal matter on the floor, would you be okay with that? And the answer is no. But the thing is, how many people in your life are metaphorically letting rats out in your house, in your temple, in you? You know, they're either filling you with destructive thoughts, fecal thoughts, uh, you know, negative behavior. You're allowing people to do emotionally abusive things in your life. They're there to just bring you down or tell you what you can't do. And there's so, so there's people in your life that are rats, right? You know, they, they, it's, it's no different than a lot. It's actually the unknown stuff, the things that you may not be able to see with your senses. See, the th when you realize that the things that you see with your senses are less real, believe it or not, than the things you don't see, meaning that it's less harmful for someone to go in your house and throw a bunch of rats in your house or crap in your living room it's way it's less harmful than allowing someone in your life to to plant seeds of doubt, destructive thoughts, negative or, or create negative feelings or emotions that start your state and your focus to go in that negative way. That is way more destructive for your soul, for your physical body, for every part of you. So this is why when it comes to that whole metaphor of rats in the house, you would never let someone walk in your house with rats. And if I had crap on my shoes, you wouldn't let me in your, in your house either. That's the way we, <laughs> a lot of crap in this one. Uh, but that, that is, that is the approach we must take when it comes to those people that are in your life. So there may be people in your life that are letting rats loose in your house. And that house is your mind, is your soul. It's causing negative thinking. It's causing you low self-esteem. It's causing you worry. It's causing you anxiety. So we need to not allow those people to come into our homes, into our temples, or allow them in. And so, well, how do you do that? Well, you disengage, you know? You know, for on social media, you know, if someone, uh, 
if someone's writing a bad comment about you, don't read it. You know, if someone sends you a bad email, a bad text, don't you read that it. From a guy that you were listening to. Which yeah. one? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's what you do. You you want to you want to inventory your life because for instance, like for instance, you know, at the office, they're like Dr. Zeno. Someone called, and they didn't make their appointment because they went online and read a bad review. And so, what's the first initial reaction? You want to go read the review, but you don't read it. You don't don't read any negative stuff about you because it's not your problem. See, it's not the problem is not with you. The problem is with them. For someone to go online and post negative comments, for someone to go online and or text you a negative thing or to say shit behind your back, it's their problem. They are a miserable negative person and they are literally trying to let rats out in other people's lives so they feel comfortable with how sad and uh, negative their life is. And so have, you could, so how we do this, you have empathy. So. The people that release rats or crap in your life have empathy over them, being like, you know, see them, love them. You first got to love them to death, right? Literally. So you just love them, say, and, and put yourself in their shoes and try to be empathetic, but still at the same time. So that's where the forgiveness comes from, meaning that when you love them, then that causes forgiveness. So, so they might do things to you, but you're able to forgive. But also then you have to, you have to seal the door. You know what I mean? So I forgive you. I'm sorry you feel that way. I apologize. Um, I forgive you. And if they try to text you again, I don't. You don't answer it. If they try to come in your house again, it'll release release rats. Metaphorically, you don't let them in. You end the relationship. You end that thing with love. And if they cannot uh, get out of that, if they can't. Uh, clean themselves up and be able to bring positive, amazing things into your life, supportive, collaborative dogs. ideas, huh? Bring dogs and, and, and dogs, then you just move forward and allow them to do it. So remember when those things happen, there's so much rats in our lives, so we need to be able to remove those, but there is a way of doing it. I think it's not just, just totally neglecting them, but it's actually that there has to be a forgiveness love part. And once the forgiveness and love part is accomplished, then you could release them. You know, if you guys remember the whole secret identity, the secret identity is basically the result of many rats and crap that were placed in our lives from teachers and preachers and belief systems and media and all these other things going on. We put on a false suit. You know, we put on this, this secret identity, this, this less than optimal version and actually less than true. It's a false version of who we really are. And it was really the outcome from allowing rats in our temple, in our house, in our mind. And so now moving forward, the rats that are in our mind, we could forgive those out and love those out. And then also when you love them out, it gives you the self-esteem and self-confidence to now not allow the emotional negative abuse to continue to happen. So hopefully this uh, helped you guys. Please hit the share button, like someone, and just think about, you know, what's, do some, do some internal cleanup, right? Clean the, clean the crap, clean the rats, and definitely don't invite anybody into your house, which is your soul, your temple, your mind, that has a bag of rats or a bag of crap. All right, so please share that. Make sure you check out, I think Thursday, will be We Are Heroes episode two. It's gonna be a great one. This is when I went to business finishing school and did a keynote. Really great stuff. You guys get to see what we have developed. What I mean we is we all, you and you know, you and me together, we developed this amazing message that I, I love. It just, thank you so much. And you get to see that uh, on that episode Thursday and that'll air around 12 or one. So make sure you're there to see that. And then we have some cool things for you coming the weekend. I'm going to start doing like two or three minute uh, mindset videos. Well, they're five minute because it's called five minute fuel. So you'll start to see that once a week as well. So thank you guys so much. Please comment below any comment you want. Even if this is not live and you're watching it, I'll still answer it. I answer them all. And yes, it's me answering it. So thank you so much. So coming from me, Dr. Z, there's Whitney. Hey, wait, look up. You got to show your new hair. Is Ty sleeping over there? Justice and Prowler. Have a blessed day. We'll see you soon. God bless.